something. And we are going to see the snake here. I'm interested to see how the command grab from Captain Falcon is going to interact with the snake. And obviously, I feel like of most characters, Captain Falcon is one of the best for as far as like using the opponent's items against them um, between combos and the knee and whatnot. We'll see if uh, Daddy J can show us any of that. PS2, though, um, of course, taking Snake here, I do believe this might be one of Snake's best. Oh, 20, 21% right off the bat. Roughly even in stocks here. We're showing um, Daddy J is pushing him out. No double jump here. This is kind of where you got to be careful. Of course, air dodge is the ledge. That's kind of what he was forced to do. And that uppy, that's what I was talking about earlier. He is forced to go high there. Another uppy. Oh, yeah, not paying attention to the C4. Going to get another almost 20% on him. But now, even up the percents, oh, starting to at least get back to neutral. Kari still looking for a way back on. That C4 is staying on that platform. All right. Unless he was oh, great weaving in between the C4 and the grenade there. Roughly even a percent, percents here. Oh, he's just looking for raw knee. I'm not sure. Okay. Good get up attack. He's definitely looking for the up tilt here. And now we've already seen... <laughs> There's the down... Wow. Okay. Didn't look out for that C4. Catching the upy, Not killing. Okay. A little bit too late there. 177... 180%. He's definitely looking for Uppy now. It is raining explosions. He's gonna be able to neutral get up through the jab. Oh. Rush out for the, yep, he hears it. He has gotta find a kill. He's just racking on more and more percent here. Hikari already put 62% on the board and living to 200%. Grenade's still not killing. That is gonna be it. 80% already on the board. And Snake familiar with killing early as well. This already looks like... Oh, there's the grenade. Can Daddy J get anything started here? He needs to put the get pedal to the metal. Okay, cool. Okay. There's a grenade catching him. Gonna get an up air from that, but 90%. He is. A oh, wow. There's the down B once again. Still not killing. Good high recovery. Doesn't catch the air dodge. The grab missing. Forward throw. A little bit of a DI mix up. That's a down air. 26%. Daddy J has managed to pull this back from almost 200% on a Hakari. So much percent with that down air there. Grab not reaching. Convert into the up air. So much more percent on almost 130. Up tilt will probably start to kill in a second here. Gotta watch out for that C4. He's aware of it. Oh, good choice. Rolling out there. That is the option. Now he is at down throw kill percent though. Oh, he's looking to the first hit. No down throw up tilt. Opting for at almost 200%. We're seeing a complete reversal for the first game. First uh, stop. Watch out for the C4. They both see it. She was looking for an air dodge. Not going to find it. Finding the grab. Oh, with the C4 ending that comeback. Damn. Hikari taking that one. So much percent from both players. City. 
maybe not. I imagine FD, a couple others were banned. But we are going to Town and City. I feel like this is a pretty neutral stage for both of these. Snake not able to kill off the top as early. Falcon able to kill off the sides earlier. All depends on the positioning these players go to. We started the first game by seeing Advantage State just coming out picking from uh, Daddy J. I don't know if we'll get a repeat or not. Roughly the percent so far. Ooh, raw. Not shielding the final hit. Oh, wow. Jab? Oh, he was looking for it. Your uppie is big, but not that big. Hundred sixteen percent. Now, last time it took quite a while for Hikari to die. If Daddy J is able to get this first stock, he's able to put this advantage state onto the next stock of Hikari. That'll be amazing. Possible pairing the second hit, and that down tilt is going to take it, killing off the side there. Definitely helpful that he's in town. Ooh, great avoidance of those hitboxes. Making sure he's off stage. Great advantage state. Looking for an early kill there. Not going to find it. Oh! Yeah, why not? Why not, forward air? Oh, he is looking for an early kill. You can definitely tell it. Hikari has to make so much room back. Will the key to get it? No. Great jump there. Oh, tried to leave an air dodge. Didn't get the right placement. Word throw. He wasted the air dodge. Great in air to get back on. Oh! That up to would have taken if it was the right direction. He has C4 on him. He doesn't know. But with 71% on his last stock, you're going to have to do a miracle to pull this back down. That is going to pick. That is definitely going to pick. Daddy J, making it 1 1. Is Deadstroke here? Is Deadstroke here? Really? Oh, dang. It's been a while. I had no clue. Yeah, I think I saw a tweet somewhere that Deadstroke saw the, the CVA PR or something and was like, <laughs> oh, do I need to come back? You know, like, he was just like, he looked at it and was just like, I could beat this. <laughs> I could beat this. So he's gonna try. Uh, there are, I don't think there are any CVA PR players here today who just made it. Yeah. Um, I think from Richmond, Miles squeaked on a 10. No, 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 Minato's here, Minato was nine. Yeah. Uh, Minato I think was the highest on the CVA PR that's here today. However, he is, no, 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 I, I digress, gravity also. Mm. Bo both Gravity was just above him, I think at seven. Yeah. Uh, so Gravity and Minato both here uh, to represent CVAPR. Deadstroke seated above them uh, just due to, I guess, set count and such. But. Oh, wow. But both uh, both players, by the way, Gravity and Minato cheering on Daddy J. Fellow Fredericksburg players, Daddy J got a nice help screamed as he flew to the bottom. <laughs> yeah. The brutal pit spike. You never think it's going to happen to you. You're like, oh, pit no. doesn't spike. Yeah. Never, never happens. Never. And then when it does, you're like, that kill? Yeah. Oh. It, and it wasn't like one of those like meteors that just sends you straight to the ground. But it was just like, a, it, it was like, a, just go low enough to yeah. where you can't get back. It, he just safely escorted him to the bottom of the last zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a nice like guided tour. Yeah. I understand the switch here. You were probably starting to feel like Danny J was feeling out the uh, snake a little bit here. Yeah. I mean, if you lose 
like to the extent I think that Tricky lost that game. But you also have like so many more players, exactly. like characters in the cast. Might as well try a different one. Yeah. Oh no! The gentleman's still not gonna not kill. Not gonna kill. Not gonna kill. You have got to find something fast here, or else you're gonna get a repeat of game one. Running away with this first stock. Downfield's gonna take it. This is Captain Falcon. We can see anything happen. All right, draws first blood. Okay. Great patience there. Okay. We dash, we dash back and forth. Roughly even percents, but Daddy J's gotta put a whole nother stock into this. We've been seeing some great ledge trapping here. Hikari calling out the jump and getting a lot of percent for it. No grab. Oh, he's just looking for raw knees now. Now anything is possible. That's what you mentioned there. Oh, that's not gonna be quite a kill. Waste the air dodge on the, oh! Okay, this is where it starts. 131% Hikari has to shut this down quick. Down throw, dash attack. He's calling out the options. Feel it. Oh, he was looking for that. A little bit too aggressive. Here's the arrow, has to uppy. 60%, this can be a kill combo from- There it is! <laughs> and Daddy J. Reverse 3-0.